back from break, everybody. This morning, we have a lot of news to get to. Uh, to start with breaking news, the McIntosh Box and Pallet Company off of Butternut Drive in East Syracuse caught fire early this morning. Fire crews were called to the scene at 5.45 a.m. An ambulance was seen leaving, this, leaving the scene at 6 o'clock a.m. However, it is uncertain if anyone was in the building at the time. One third of the building was on fire, but now it appears to be under control. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, last year's flu season claimed the lives of roughly 80,000 people of all ages in the United States, causing one of the highest influenza death rates in 40 years. The flu shot helps prevent um, the spread of uh, the flu. The flu shot is highly recommended for people of all ages, so the number of deaths or hospitalizations does not increase. It is best to be vaccinated before the expected flu season as it takes two weeks for the shot to be in full effect. We don't get the flu from the flu shot. The flu shot does not have a live virus in it. It, um, it does prevent though if you do get the flu because there's several different strands of the flu. However, not all people believe that the flu shot does anything to prevent the flu virus and some even believe that you can become sick from the shot itself. I'm against the flu shot because it gives you terrible side effects. Like for one instance, when I got the flu shot when I was younger, my arm was swelled up and I got the cold probably four days after the flu shot, so I do not like the flu shot at all. Some people seem to get the flu after getting the vaccination. This can be caused by one of two reasons. You're exposed to the virus shortly before getting the shot, or you were exposed to a virus that was not vaccinated against in the initial shot. It's important for people to get the flu shot for people like me who have a weakened immune system because I can't fight it like other people can. The Spartan Basketball Universe continues on Wednesday after school in the small gym. Players will be competing in matchups to see who is the number one contender to Michael Bryan's Universal Championship. You do not have to be signed up to participate. Whoever shows up first will get the, the first chance to compete. Come see if you have what it takes to take the title for yourself. The school store will reopen this week. It was closed the week before vacation due to students attending the school store without a pass to the store and inappropriate language used while walking in line. Please have a pass to attend the school store from a teacher and use appropriate language when in the line to be waiting to be served. If you do not have a pass to the school store, you will not be served. The school, store, the school store does not open until 10 minutes into the block and it closes with 10 minutes left in the block. Teachers also please only allow two students at a time to attend the school store. That will help us serve them quicker to get back to class. Hi, I'm Kyra. And I'm Emily. <laughs> Welcome back to the salt scene. So you have a dog. What's your name? Misha. Oh, cool. So um, you adopted Misha about five years ago. So how often did she ask about her real family? Yeah, how do you know that we adopted <laughs> her five years ago? Okay, well, you told me specifically. Well, she, she was abused uh, by her original family, and then she kind of was just, like, left somewhere, and another family found her and took her in, and then they transported her to Helping Hounds and then we adopted her from there. Okay, I was going to say a lot, but that's kind of she sad. <laughs> Texas. <laughs> Texas, baby. So, wait, so how do you know her name was Misha? Did you ask her if she had a name before? That was She's just had the name families. that she came with. We don't really know how that came to okay, be. Did her, did her like biological mother give that name to her? Because what if she was named like Sandy or something? I would She's from not Texas. have wanted a dog named Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> I would have changed that. Well, how did she feel about her name? Did you even um, ask her? Did she she likes opinion? it because she replies to it every single time we call it. That's good. <laughs> so the next question. Um, all right, so you're in English honors, which um, means that you're either smart or it was a mistake. <laughs> so let's find out. Um, please spell diverticulitis. D-I-V-E-R-T-I-C. 
You really did. <laughs> Like you this? actually got it all right <laughs> up until that point. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's I can spell it too, though. D I V E R T I C U L I T I S. Looked at it. Yeah, you have the note <laughs> card. That's <laughs> cheating. The girls' basketball team took a tough loss on Saturday against sixth ranked New Hartford. Uh, even though ESM got knocked out of the first round of sectionals, this was the first time in five years that ESM girls basketball has qualified for sectionals. Congratulations to the seniors on a great season, and the future is bright for this program. Syracuse men's lacrosse defeated Army yesterday 9-7. SU came back from a 5-2 deficit at halftime. Jamie Tromboli had five goals in the win for SU. On Saturday, Syracuse basketball defeated Georgia Tech 79-72. Elijah Hughes and Merrick Dolajai both led the team in points with 20, and Barama Sadive led the team in rebounds with 10. A 42-year-old Zamboni driver and Toronto native, David Ayers, got called to play an emergency goalie for the Carolina Hurricanes. He had to play due to injuries of both the goalies for Carolina, and while playing, he saved eight out of the 10 shot attempts and won the game for the, against the Toronto Maple Leafs, as well as becoming the oldest player to make his debut in NHL history. I'm David with your sports. Cheering for airs. Good morning. Um, I'm Beth, and this is Lori. We're food mm -hmm. service. Um, you've probably seen us around in the cafeteria. Uh, like Kai was saying, we're starting a new system. You can pre order. We have forms in the lobby and in the uh, cafeteria. So when you come and get breakfast, you'll be able to fill out your pre order form, put it in your box here. Okay, we designed this for you guys in mind, okay? Um, you're going to put your name your uh, number, the date is very important. But how, how you want your sandwich done like you tell me every day. Instead of waiting in line with everybody there, you give this to me in the morning, I do it, it's fresh and ready. I'm gonna already have your number in the system. So you basically go by and you show the cashier that you're paid and you're out the door. Instead of 15 minutes in line, you're in line maybe three minutes you're gonna head right to the front of the line, and that's it, you're done, you're done. It's a great opportunity, it's less time in line, more time with your friends. And also you can, um, you know, to go with your sandwich, you'll pick up your fruit, your veggie, obviously your milk and your, um, your sport kits, but don't forget that we also have the a la carte items. You know, you've got chips and cookies and your switches and you know, other beverages in that cooler too, so. You know, um, and you can also fast track the line. So the administrator that's at the door, just let them know that you've pre-ordered your sandwich and they'll let you come in first. Right, and you will be charged even if you don't pick it up. This, this will go on your uh, account, it will be deducted. So if you really want it, you gotta take it. Um, I encourage you all to do it. I've got quite a few kids doing it already. They love it, they're in, they're out. So it's just so much easier for everyone involved.